Alrighty, I have uh, gone ahead and mounted my instrument panel into the airframe. And as I'd mentioned before, this is hinged for future maintenance. I will eventually be putting some nut plates in here and that way in the future if I ever need to work on the panel I'll be able to just fold it forward for future maintenance. Now there will be a uh, couple of straps on here to hold this down so it doesn't fold too far down. At this point everything is mounted and ready to go. I just have to go ahead and do my wiring but it does uh, give me the ability in the future to work on this thing without ah, having to crawl up in underneath it. Uh, I'm just not uh, at an age now where I want to be a gymnast. Get these cleats back and hold that in place. Here's my flat switch. It is uh, spring loaded so it returns back to center which is off. Up or down either way eventually I will have a cable running along here that will be attached to the flaps and it will be measured off in degrees of increments of degrees up or down uh, so as you operate the switch you will be able to see that cable move it will have a little indicator on it and it will indicate the the degrees of positions of the flaps either up or down straightforward and simple piece of cable Here's the altimeter, the Makiki variometer, uh, airspeed indicator, ignition switch, fuel gauge will eventually go in here, my RPM, whiskey compass, EGT and CHT, all of the circuit breakers, voltmeter, amp meter, my fuel pump gauges, and then the uh, headphone and microphone connectors in here. I'll eventually have a intercom unit setting down in here and I will run a line from the back seat to the front for the rear passenger to have uh, headphone or microphone capability. Um, I'll take the camera and move around to the back side here. Hopefully we'll be able to get a, a picture of the finished installation. I went ahead and painted these brackets a flat black to match the panel. Um, not that this is going to be showing, but I did want to make it that way. And uh, that's pretty much it. it. It was a lot of fun building up this panel. And it'll be uh, getting it wired up. We'll videotape the wiring of the panel as well. So let me grab the camera here and uh, see if we can get a shot. Ah. It's on the tripod and I have to move it around of the back side of the panel. So you can see here everything's pretty much laid out and it's labeled. There are labels on there. I don't know if they'll show up in this video but uh, I did put labels on there so that uh, when we get ready to do maintenance from in front you can look back there and see what it is you're working on. Walk around from the other side here and look at her from this angle or this point of view. <laughs> a videographer I am not. I never profess to be a videographer so I have no idea how well this is going to turn out if at all. And let's see I'm going to switch over to close up here. Well first I'll take the camera off of the tripod mount so I can move around without stumbling over this tripod and uh, switch the camera to close-up mode here hopefully it'll focus in better now there's rule number one of flying aircraft don't do anything dumb a little close-up view of the panel again from the front side ignition switch airspeed Makiki variometer <coughs> altimeter Below the Makiki is my whiskey compass, RPM, and then eventually my fuel gauge. Over here the exhaust gas temperature, cylinder head temperature, and uh, flap switch. And let's see here. 
up or down. And again, I don't know if this is going to zoom in or not. I, I just don't have enough familiarity with these cameras. Here's my circuit breaker panel with everything placarded properly. Uh, amps and volts. Auxiliary fuel pump, primary fuel pump, and headphone microphone. And we'll back out here now and switch the camera. And let's see, I guess you could call this the pilot's eye view of the panel. I'm actually just kind of holding the camera back here by the back seat. I don't feel like climbing up onto the sawhorses and climbing into the seat. So you'll get enough of that when I start doing the uh, taxi test and flight testing. Now that's it for today. I hope this video turns out better than the last one did. And if it does, we'll put it up on YouTube. Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate that, and I hope that they're helpful and will inspire others to uh, purchase an Excalibur kit and build their own airplane, and we'll all meet at the factory someday for barbecue. Compliments of Tom Carr. <laughs>